Hi, I'm Mitch Gross, Application Specialist from Able Cinetech, and this is the operation manual for the Null Lens, which is an exclusive product of Able. This is an optical collimation device. It is locked to infinity, and it is set it for setting the PL lens mount on a digital cinema camera, such as the red one. You can set the PL mount relative to the sensor getting that distance set accurately, which is also known as flange focal depth or back focus. Now, how does it work? How do you use it? Let me show you. It's quite straightforward, but the first thing to understand is what some things that are going on in your camera. Now, very important on the red one is that the PL mount is actually a removable mount. There are eight little screws, and they are Torx screws, T-O-R-X, and you have to make sure that these are all locked down properly. Otherwise, the mount can shift and with the weight of a lens, and it's just the, you'll never get proper focus. Also, behind this lens mount, there are hex keys. There are eight of them that lock the next stage onto the camera. So it can be important to make sure that those are locked in place as well. And if you're not comfortable doing this sort of work, then you want to make sure a qualified technician can set that for you. So we take the the null and we mount it on the camera, but notice how here's the flange to mount and how far deep it extends into the camera. So this is not to be used on a camera with a spinning mirror or anything else that's going on inside there. It's really for a camera that has a mount, like there's just an optical low pass and a sensor inside the camera. So we mount that on there. And the first thing you'll see in the monitor is that it doesn't cover the whole image. And that's fine. It's not about covering the whole image. This is not what it's for. It's really about getting the center of the image nice and sharp. So on the red, there is a way to zoom into the center of the frame. There's two spots on the camera where you can do that. One is usually user key number two is preset to that. But since you can go into the camera and change the menus, uh, that might not necessarily be set that. You can have other buttons that might be set to it instead. But the one that always is locked as being that function is this one right here. This, this key is oh, not addressable in any other way other than to be the one-to-one -one magnification. It's the one that's closest to the eyepiece. Push that in. You can see we've now zoomed into the center of the image. So if I point this out the window, the idea here is now the lens is locked to infinity. And so I want to look at an infinity dif distance. Now, in practice, actually, it's about 50 meters or beyond is always going to give you an accuracy of 5 micron depth setting on your lens mount, which is extremely accurate. Now, I loosen this outer ring. And let me just show you what that is. There is this ring behind the PL mount, and it has these two hex screws on it. Take a four millimeter Allen key, and you just go in there and loosen these, and that will allow you to adjust the mount, to actually rotate. When I rotate this ring, that will move the PL mount back and forth relative to the sensor. So I'll just lock the camera from panning, and if I turn it, you see the image goes totally out of focus. Now, I have not change the lens at all. In fact, that's locked to infinity. But as I rotate it, you can just see the image come into focus. Once you, you do that, you tighten down those two hex uh, key, those two screws on that clamp, and you're in focus. Be very careful that when you tighten those down, you're still looking out at the far distance and looking at a monitor to make sure that when you tighten them, you don't actually throw the mount out of focus because in doing so, you're actually, when you tighten them, you're actually sort of squeezing a clamp. You want to make sure that doesn't pull the mount in a way that actually throws you out of focus. And you'll know right away, you'll be looking at the image. Now there's other ways to do this because let's say I don't have a window nearby. I can't look into the far distance. Well, then you want a focusing target. This is a, such a device. This is called the Sharp Max from Zeiss. There's also an HD collimator and soon to be available, the Null Target, which is a device, a small version of this that will actually screw right onto the Null designed to do the exact same work. That's not available yet, it's in prototype, but will be available soon. What this device does, well, I'll just show you. I'm gonna just brighten up the sensitivity of the camera here. It's a Siemens star, a focusing target, and it has a lens in here so that if you're looking at infinity, you're going to see this properly. Another way to judge focus is looking at something called a waveform. And a waveform monitor 
is something that is built into a lot of set monitors, but also is something you can get as a monitor for your own. A waveform is something that judges brightness and contrast. Basically, when an image is out of focus, it all kind of goes gray together. You lose any contrast, and so it all becomes a sort of a big blob. And then, as I adjust the back focus to get the image to be sharper, you see that nice big cone, that nice pointy cone. And when I get that cone at its pointiest, that's focus. Another way that one can use the null lens is in combination with a collimation bench. Adjust the mount on the camera, and I see it, that target sliding back and forth between its outer target. And when I get them in perfect focus, the added benefit of shooting on a digital camera system is I actually have the grid pattern of the sensor itself appearing on that image. So I'm actually looking at photosites, actually looking at pixels. One measure of just how accurate a measuring device, the null lens, is, is that you can actually use it to set the accuracy of your Crozio or other brand of bench collimator. So it's great to have a way of cross-referencing. And you can take the null lens, mount it onto your collimator, because the null is set to a perfect depth we just set it up here on the collimator, and I'm just adjusting the micron scale to make sure that my image in my monitor is dead focused and sharp. So at zero, I'm perfect. That's an accurate system for focus.